Hello, welcome to the Manic Pixie Dream Vlog. I'm your host, Caroline Georges, and welcome. Um, I'm a little distraught. Um, Jeffrey Epstein is dead. There's gonna be no justice. Nothing's gonna change. Everything is just gonna stay the fucking same. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna, I mean, fuck. Damn it. Just damn it. God damn it. The least that man could have done was stay alive. You know, the least he could have done was stay alive. But no. No. No, no, no. He couldn't have waited until after the trial. You know what I mean? He couldn't have waited until after. <clears throat> but... God, I cannot fucking deal. This is ridiculous. This is so fucking ridiculous. I've just been crying all morning. It's just like, I mean, these girls, these poor girls. What's gonna happen to them? I mean, honestly, like, I'm surprised. Like, I was so dumb yesterday when I posted yesterday that these girls were somehow gonna have power or somehow gonna be able to still affect change, you know what I mean? No, it's all he said, she said no. It's all Bill Clinton says against these, like, who the fuck are these girls? Who the fuck are these girls? What are these girls gonna do? What are these girls gonna fucking do? You know? Ugh. Ugh. Nothing. That's what they're gonna do. Fucking nothing. It's over. It's just over, you know? Okay. Good game. Good game. Ugh. What are we gonna do? Like, the, the, you know, the solutions are just so simple. You know what I mean? The solutions are just that simple. But no, we can't, we can't, you know, let women own their bodies. You know, I don't, I don't own my body. I don't own this. Like, ugh, sorry, I'm not even drunk. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'm not even on drugs. Like, I'm just, ju listen, I'm just legitimately upset. Oh well. <sighs> it's okay. You know, I, I think it's insensitive to call women survivors because not all women are survivors. Not all women survive that. Some women are, are, are victims. Some women are just, just fucking victims. They're just victims and that's it. They're dead. They're gone. It's a series of events. Some lost... 13 year old girl gets offered a little bit of money and a little bit of attention and she'll go for it and she'll sell her soul for that much because that's what her soul is worth to her. All these little candles in the wind. Who's going to write songs for those girls, you know? Who's going to make movies about those girls? Who's going to do something about these girls? Ugh. You know what? I'm grateful Trump is the president because if Hillary was the president, this would have never happened. You know what I mean? It's like the Me Too movement would have never happened. You know? Shit wouldn't have gone down. <sighs> I went to go see um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood again with my aunt, with my friend Catherine. And I was just crying. You know, you can't rewrite history. How dare you? You can't rewrite history. You can't tell things the way you want them to be. You have to tell things the way they are. Sharon Tate fucking died, begging for her life, pregnant. That's what happened. Honor that. Honor her. Show her death. Show her suffering. 
Because life isn't a fucking fairy tale, you know? It's just it's not a fucking fairy tale. The world is going to change. <clears throat> you know, the Bible can be pretty morbid sometimes. And it just says the world is just going to get worse and worse until it sets on fire. Mother against daughter. Son against father. You know, it's just that's what it's going to end with. Ugh. There's nothing more poetic than the death of a beautiful woman. <sighs> I'm gonna love. I'm gonna love people. I'm gonna stop stripping and I'm gonna love people. I'm gonna find a man. I'm gonna marry a man. I'm gonna have babies. I'm gonna raise those babies. I'm gonna love those babies, you know? And that's the fairy tale. That's all I can do. That's how I can do to fight back. Just being happy, you know? And just living my life, being happy. Everyone deserves happiness. Everyone deserves forgiveness. Except Jeffrey Epstein. Fuck it. Am I a witch? Like, is that what it is? Like, am I just being burned at the stake? You know? Sorry, I mean, I'm just, I'm, look, I'm just, I'm just upset. I just need a vent. I'm just gonna put this out there into the world. The mornings of a rape victim. Who... You know, it could have been me. I could have been one of those 13 year old girls. That was me. You know, my stage name is Olivia. And I chose that name because when I was growing up, when I was 13, 14, I liked to party and I liked to go out. I liked to be with boys, I liked to be with older boys. And, um,. And I would tell my mom that I was going to my friend Olivia's house. I would tell my dad I was going to my friend Olivia's house. There was no Olivia. I made her up. My parents just didn't care. Just sort of didn't want to know or something. Some people just... <sighs> okay, look, it's all gonna be okay, you know, don't worry about it. It's all gonna be okay. It has to be. Or it's not, you know, or maybe it's just, it's just not gonna be okay, you know. There's gonna be the starving kids in Africa, and there's gonna be the traffic girls in Russia. And Donald Trump's always gonna be the president, and... and And men are going to rape women and get away with it. I don't know. Who knows? The world, good and evil, right and wrong, love and hate, it's all like this. It's all just going to be like this forever. You know how Father George has died? He died of alcohol poisoning. He was a drunk. He drank himself to death. But he really cared about me. He wasn't perfect, but he really cared about me. He really cared about women. And he really helped me, and he really wanted to help me. I remember he said something to me, and I forget the second part, but he said, one day you are great. 
then I forget the rest. He said, one day if you are great. God, you know, I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to all those men. I had to fight back. You have to understand. I had, I couldn't just sit back and take it. I had to fight back. I had to do something, you know? We have to do something. Something has to be done. We have to stop killing beautiful women. We have to stop letting beautiful women die. We're just watching all these beautiful women just sink into the ground and die and be forgotten forever like they never were. You know what's so funny about strippers? They're all hilarious. They're all so funny. Sometimes a girl will just come in and she'll just start talking about her fucking day and I will be on the floor laughing. Those women aren't going to be comedians. Those women aren't going to start a podcast, you know? <clears throat> you know, and it's just like when... I t I like, you know, listening to these women and just hearing about all the fucked up shit they do, you know what I mean? And it's just like, they talk about it like, we're just, you know, sitting by the water cooler, drinking our coffee, you know, having a break, talking about the fucked up shit we do to men. But men do fucked up shit to us. What men do to us is so much worse. So much worse. And these poor, weak, sad, unfortunate men come to strip clubs looking for comfort, looking for a woman, looking for help, and we just suck their blood. It's the same thing that little 13 year old girl that went to Jeffrey Epstein's house, you know, and let her, you know, let Jeffrey Epstein suck her blood, you know, for $300 or what the fuck ever, you know, it's a little bit of a recognition, a little bit of tension. Ugh. You know what? I just the philosophy of the Joker was that he just had one bad day. One bad day turned him, turned him evil. He lost all his humanity and just became a psychopath and just wanted to destroy the world, like the world destroyed him. In a way, you know, people identify with him because it's like he is fighting back. He's fighting back against what happened to him. <sighs> I really didn't think it was over. I didn't think it ended with Jeffrey Epstein. I didn't think it was over, but it's fucking over. Nothing's gonna happen now. <sighs> well, we're here together. I'm with you and you're with me and we're all gonna fight back. I'm not gonna be a stripper forever. I'm not gonna be a fucking stripper forever. I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna start fighting. I'm gonna use all of that strength. I'm gonna use all of that strength and I'm not gonna do evil with it. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna save women's lives. You know, I used to say I, I wanted to live my life like what the fucked up shit that happened to me didn't happen to me. And I don't want that to be anymore. The fucked up shit that happened to me happened to me. It happened. 
so much of it I can't even talk about. I can't even I can't even open my mouth and speak about. And as honest as I am, and as open as I am, and as real as I am, there's just so much I can't talk about. What is the truth in feeling like if somebody cares enough to hurt you, that's all they can give to you is just their pain? That's all they can give is just their pain and I'll just take their pain. I'll take it on. I'll carry the cross. I'll carry the cross for you, you know, I'll do it. I'll take your pain, I see it, I see your pain. I do, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I see you. It's not over, it isn't. There's still so much to fight for. There's still so many more women out there that need protection. It's not too late, it's not too late. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. It's not too late. Everything's gonna be okay. Well, let's just spend today mourning. Let's just spend today crying. Let's just set, spend today being sad. And you know, there was this girl in my hometown who killed herself. And I think her name was Amanda. I think that's what her name was. She worked at the at a bookstore this bookstore I used to go to and I went to the bookstore she wasn't there you know she went to the beach she stood in, she stood in the ocean and she shot herself and it was a rainy shitty fucking gray nasty day in Alaska like so many others but you know what the next day after she shot herself, it was beautiful, it was sunny, the sun was out, it was gorgeous. She had just waited one more day to think if she had just waited one more day, the sun would have come out for her and she would have been okay. Let's just make it through today. At least Jeffrey Epstein is dead. We can be happy about that. At least he's gone. He's not going to hurt anybody anymore. <laughs> and you know what, Monica Lewinsky, she's producing um, uh, the this new show, the, the American Crime Story, about her life, about her, you know, about the the impeachment, and she's getting to tell her story, finally. She's getting to tell her story 20 years later. She had to wait 20 years, but she finally has her day. She finally has justice. People are finally gonna see her. You know, there's just, <laughs> there's that. We can be happy about that. Let's all watch that show. Let's every day, let's just every time it comes on, every Friday night that it's on, let's just watch that show and just rejoice that, you know, finally one victim got, got redemption, you know? Let's look forward to that. Hmm. Okay, well look, that's my vlog for today. I'm really sad. I'm really upset. This is horrifying. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what to do. I'm so upset, but it's okay.
Look, I'm, I'm, I, look at forgiveness. Look at what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the dress my stepbrother bought for me. You know, and I, for years I hated him. I hated what he did to me. I resented him. I was so angry at him. I was so jealous of him. I was just, and, and now I'm, I'm wearing the dress that he bought for me and I'm doing this vlog and it's all okay. Forgiveness. It's all about forgiveness. It's all about letting go. Let the evil go back to where it came from. You know, and I, um, in Lord of the Rings, that beautiful scene where Sam Wise tells Frodo, I can't carry the ring for you, but I can carry you. I'm going to carry you. I can't carry the ring for you. You can't carry the ring for me, but we can carry each other. <laughs> okay. It's over. It's devastating but let's move on and let's keep fighting, okay? All right, that's my vlog for today. Have a lovely day. Call your mom, call your dad, hug your kids. Get together with your best friends and go see a movie. Life goes on. Let's just celebrate. Let's just be happy. Today, I'm going to I'm going to go to open mics and I'm going to um I'm going to do comedy and I'm going to be funny. And, um, and, um, and let's just go forward with our day. Bye.